Now I just want to tell you about sump level in an aquarium. So many aquariums these days are, come standard with sumps. And it's really important that you know how to set the level of your sump. So what you want to do is fill the aquarium up with water until there's water going down the weir, then stop filling up the aquarium. Then you want to go down to the sump and you want to fill the sump up with water almost to the top. Then you turn your pumps on and then what's going to happen is when you turn your pumps on the water in the sump is going to fall and the water in your aquarium is going to rise because the water is going to start getting pumped out of the sump into the aquarium so the aquarium running level will be up the sump running level will be down. The next thing you want to do is mark with a texter on. So you draw a text, draw a line and write on. Because what you don't ever want to do is fill the sump up above the on line while the system's running. Because then you turn your system off and then the water's going to siphon out of the tank back down to the sump. And if the running level is above on, potentially the water can flow out. That is the only time that a sump is likely to, to spill, is if you don't set it correctly, and it's extremely easy to set. So once again, we fill the aquarium up, then we fill the sump up, then we turn the pump on, then we mark the pump level as on. The other thing you must consider too is when you're adding new rocks and so forth to the aquarium, let's say that you're adding more rocks into the aquarium, you want to turn the sump off. Then you want to drain some water out of the sump, then you can add your rocks in. Make sure your cupboard's open like this. So the whole time you're adding the rocks, you're noticing that um, your sump level is rising. Because if the sump level starts rising too much, you need to remove some water out of the sump to allow you to continue putting um, rocks into the aquarium. You even have to consider this when floating too many bags of fish even. So anything new that's going into the aquarium, the sump level must be readjusted. So once again, turn the system off, allow all the water to flow down, then fill the tank up so the water's going down if it's not already, then make sure all the water stops running, then fill the sump up to a few centimetres above the top, and away you go, um, marking that as an on. So other things to consider too, is the outlet of your aquarium, of your aquarium must be the same height or higher than wherever your water level is to drain off. Because if you angle that right down, then all of a sudden, the water will drain down and siphon out of this pipe and then that can actually cause a flood as well. So be aware of the outlet and ensure that the outlet is positioned near the surface of the water so when you turn the sump off you don't get extra water down into there. If you're doing a custom made aquarium the other thing you could do too is drill a hole in the sump so therefore if for some reason any of this stuff does happen the water does drain out of that hole and just go down to drain instead of going on the floor.